This is the second in a series of introducing rules. In this video, you will learn how to examine the content of a PowerGold database, gathering information to begin the process of setting up realistic rule restrictions. The content of the database is already in place. To learn how we got to this point, see the Importing a Database video. The start to finish setup for generating a daily schedule is actually quite simple. The bare minimum setup includes creating and populating categories, creating at least one clock and assigning it to the clock grid, and finally setting the scheduling order for the categories by assigning plot numbers. To generate a smart schedule that meets your goals requires simply attaching some rules, guiding PowerGold to exceed your expectations. There are two main areas in format control where most rules are chosen and set up categories and properties. Categories are groups of rule settings that apply to their child folders where music and or non-music events reside. For purposes of demonstration all references to music events apply to non-music events as well. It's important to understand the difference between a category and a folder. As mentioned earlier, a category is a collection of scheduling rules that apply to one or more folders. When a new category is created, so too is a folder. One, the folder is where music events are added. Besides the default folder one, additional folders can be added to any category and populated with any number of music events, like the gold category here. One category with multiple folders. Properties, on the other hand, are user-defined attributes that can be assigned to music events, such as tempo, gender, sound, and more. Scheduling rules can be set on each property. The Analysis section brings category, folder, and properties together, calculating not only the repeat or turnover time of music events in each folder, but specifics like number of music events that are slow and a lot more. The entire Analysis section is important in providing information for setting up effective category and property rules. Specific sections in analysis are useless until the library has been populated with music events, clocks have been created and assigned to the clock grid, and properties created and assigned appropriately. The layout analysis looks to the clock grid to calculate the number of times each category folder combination is called on to be scheduled for the entire week. Comparing schedule calls to the number of music events in each folder provides an average turnover time, or repeat time, expressed in days, hours, and minutes. A graphic representation of the turnover time shows the rotation pattern each music event in the folder can expect to have over a two-week period of time. For example, there are 13 songs in Folder 1 of the A Power Currents category. The folder is called on to schedule two times per hour, meaning each individual music event in the folder will repeat once every six and a half hours. PowerGold sees the music events in the order they will be considered for scheduling. This is called the schedule order. For example, in the A power currents, the music event at the top is the first one that will schedule. When it schedules, it's placed to the back of the folder, position 13 causing the second event to move up one to the top. When it schedules, it goes to the back of the folder. This process of scheduling from or near the top, then moving the music event to the bottom, continues unseen during the scheduling process. Eventually, the original music event will make its way back to the top and is scheduled again in six and a half hours. That's its turnover time. Coding analysis provides a raw number and percentage information about property values that have been assigned to music events in chosen folders. Coding analysis is invaluable, providing a guide as to how strict or lenient property rules can be set based on library content. Most property values have no restrictions, but are created and assigned to simply describe the different attributes of a music event allowing for quick retrieval of matching criteria. Analyze clock calls by weekday is an overview of the number of times categories and the number of times folders are called on in the clocks each hour on any given day. 
Clicking Monday will show both the category and folder calls, including a separate breakout for folders and one for categories. G Gold is the only category called on throughout the day. It is also the only category in this database that has multiple folders, representing each decade. Each time this category is called on, a function called Folder Exposure determines how often music events from each individual folder are scheduled. The other categories have the single default folder, Folder 1, in which music events reside. Clicking Folder Calls Only shows the number of times each folder is called on in each hour of the day, with totals on the right. Analyzing clock calls by category is similar, but shows clock calls from each category and each folder across an entire week. Both analyses are meant to be used as an informational overview, confirming the number of clock calls that meet your scheduling goals. Well, now there's enough information to begin setting up category and property rules in Format Control. If you have an idea for a Power Gold video, let us know. Thanks for watching.